Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about what it means to differentiate or like what is differentiation. So in short, by taking the derivative of a function, it allows us to find the gradient of that function at any given point. Okay, and I'll show you an example of that later, but I think it's important first to look at some of the notation that comes with differentiation because it might be a little confusing otherwise. So say we had something, say y equals x to the power of n, like this. Okay, where n is just a number, so it might be 3, it might be 10, it might be 1. So to find the derivative of y equals x to the power of n, so if we differentiate something, we find its derivative, we write it like this. We say dy by dx, which just means we're differentiating y with respect to x, because we're going to be differentiating this x here. Now, the rule for differentiation of a simple thing like this is that we multiply by the power and then we subtract one from the power. So we're going to get nx to the power of n minus 1. And I'll show you an example so this will become more clear. But pretty much, that would be the first derivative of y equals x to the n. Now, you might see this written slightly differently. You might see it written as a function of x equals x to the power of n. But the notation when we're using functions, we just say f dash of x equals n x to the power of n minus 1. And this little dash here means that we've taken the first derivative. If we were taking the second derivative, which is where we differentiate the first derivative, it would be f dash dash of x. But for this video, don't worry too much about that. And finally, the last way you might see this written is just d dx of x to the n. And that just means differentiate x to the power of n. So it's not really that bad, really. Just get used to this notation and through practice you will. So you can see here, I've drawn a curve that is of y equals x squared. And a question might say, calculate the gradient of y equals x squared at the point x equals 2. So this is the point x equals 2 here with the coordinates 2, 4. And so we're just going to use our rule of differentiation. In fact, I can bring it down. So this is the rule that we're going to be using. So let's put it here. And so you can see that, well, y is equal to x squared. So the first derivative, dy by dx, is going to be equal to, well, I'm going to multiply by the power and then subtract one from the power. So 2x to the power of 1, which is just 2x. Pretty easy. And so now, if I want to find the gradient at the point x equals 2, I just substitute x equals 2 into my gradient. So at x equals 2, dy by dx equals 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. And so the gradient of y equals x squared at the point 2 is just 4. So it's pretty straightforward. Now you might see an example that's slightly less simple to work out, but it's still not tricky. For example, you might have something like this. y equals the square root of x. And we might be asked to calculate the derivative of that. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to use our laws of indices and we're going to rewrite this as x to the power of a half. And now it's in this form. It's a lot more easy to differentiate and we can say that, well, the first derivative dy by dx is going to be equal to a half x to the power of a negative half because a half subtract one is negative half. And if you wanted to, you could actually rewrite this using our laws of indices because if we've got something to the power of negative half, that's the same as 1 over the square root of it. And so we'd get 1 over 2 root x. Pretty easy or straightforward. Let's have a look at another example. We might have something like this. I'll use different notation this time. We'll say uh, f of x is equal to 1 over x squared. And again, we're going to have to use our laws of indices to say that this is equal to x to the power of negative 2. And then from here, we can differentiate that. So we get the f dash of x is going to be equal to negative 2 x to the power of negative 3. And again, we can use our laws of indices to rewrite this as negative 2 over x cubed. So again, nothing too tricky at the minute. Uh, we might get an example like this, y equals 3. So just a constant. And a rule with differentiation is if we're differentiating a constant or a number, it just goes to 0. Okay, Because to differentiate, we need to have an x in our uh, equation and so say we did have an x here we could have 3 times x to the power of 0 because that's the only way we could really put an x in here and if we were to differentiate this well we would get this have a look dy by dx is going to equal times by the power so 3 multiplied by 0 and then we're going to multiply that by x 
subtract one from the power to, of, to the power of negative one. But we're multiplying by zero, and anything multiplied by zero is just going to be zero. So differentiating a constant just gives you zero. And finally, the last example I'll have a look at is say we had something like this y equals 2x plus 4x squared, so nothing too crazy. And we wanted to differentiate this. We have to di differentiate each term one at a time. So for example, dy by dx is going to be differentiate 2x gives us 2. And differentiating 4x squared gives us 8x. So we get 2 plus 8x as our answer. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully it was useful. If it was, subscribe, uh, like the video, and check out my channel for tons of other tutorials. And thanks for watching.